Hello, our names are Ben, Adam, and Nate. Today we'll be discussing the content of the book slash movie, Lord of the Flies. Today I stand before you to discuss one of the most profound and thought-provoking literary works of our time. This thoughtful masterpiece known as Lord of the Flies, authored by the renowned British novelist William Golding. This book has captured the hearts and minds for hearts and minds of readers for decades, challenging our understanding of human nature, society, First published in 1954, Lord of the Flies transports us to, remote, to a remote tropical island where young boys find themselves stranded after a huge plane crash. With no adults surviving the accident, they are left to fend themselves, forging a micromorphism of society within the confinements of the island. The story develops into intricate denial dynamics of their relationship, unraveling the complexities of human behavior and the innate darkness that resides within each of us. The character in Lord of the Flies embody a range of personalities, each representing a distinct facet of human nature. Ralph, the charismatic and democratic leader, emerges as a symbol of order and rationality. He strives to establish a system of governance, build shelters, and create a single fire to increase their chance of rescue. His foil, Jack, embodies the desire for power and dominance. As the leader of the hunters, he descends into savagery, driven by a thirst for control and the pursuit of instant gratification. Instead, amidst the first one. Amidst the, struggling, the struggle of power and the encounter of other compelling characters, Piggy the intellectual, the rational thinker, provides a voice of reason, often ignored and belittled. Simon, the sensitive and introspective member of the group, seeks solace and attempts to decipher the true nature of the beast that haunts their dreams. And there are numerous of other boys contributing to the complex tapestry of personalities that shape their society. <clears throat> the, plot, the plot of Lord of the Flies is fraught with tension, conflict, and symbolism. The boys attempt to establish order and build a civilized society gradually descends into chaos and barbarism. As their innate primal instincts take hold, their fears and insecurities manifest in the form of a mystical beast, the embodiment of the darkness within themselves, the struggle between civilization and savagery. Reason and impulse is at the core of this gripping narrative. Golding expertly weaves allergy and symbolism throughout the story, employing the island itself as a metaphor for the world at stage, the conflicts and the powers of struggles between the boys mirror the broader struggles of humanity. The descent into savagery and the erosion of moral values forces leaders to confront the uncomfortable truths about human nature and question the thin veneer of civilization that separates us from our primitive selves. In essence, Lord of the Flies serves as a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of fragility and other social orders that protect the potential of darkness that exists within us all. It compels us to examine our actions and choices, encouraging us to confront uncomfortable truths about ourselves. As we journey through the pages of this remarkable novel, we are confronted with a powerful message, a reminder that the line between civilization and savagery is often blurred, and the forces that, that shape our actions can both be beautiful and destructive. Lord of the Flies forces us to complete the consequences of our choices and our responsibility for shaping our society. In conclusion, Lord of the Flies is a literary masterpiece that continues to resonate with, le with readers of all ages and backgrounds. It challenges our preconceptions, provokes self-recollection, and starkly extends the human condition. It's a timeless reminder that the battle between good and evil, civilization and chaos, lies within us all. Based on the video. Thank you, Mr.